What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another Gear and Tips Tuesday. Today, we are talking about what is in my bag for a bit of travel photography. Because we're going on a trip, myself, Mrs. Sambles, Connor, um, and little mini unborn Sambles. We're going on a trip, we're going to the south coast of Spain, um, just outside a place called Nerja. And whilst I'm there, I intend on doing some of what I really love, some landscape photography, travel photography. So I thought we would take a look at what is in my bag for a bit of travel photography different from the usual sports stuff but I still think it's going to be cool it's always great to see what's in people's bags right I love those videos I love looking at who's got what gear and why they have it and how they pack it in their bag and all that kind of stuff I, I love it so hopefully you guys will enjoy this one too going to be a good video let's get into it Before we take a look at the bag, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Hit the like on the video. It's right there. Don't forget to go and do that. Don't forget also to subscribe if you are new. Loads of other videos on my channel. Loads of other videos still to come. Slightly different for most of you guys today because we're not so much sports-specific focused. Going to be looking at a bit of travel photography and what's in my bag for travel photography. First up, the bag itself. I'm looking and taking the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450. Any of you guys who watched my a confession video don't worry if you didn't there's a link to the end of that video um to there's a link to that video at the end of this video so go check it out and you will know why i've still got that bag and why i'm taking that bag with me on my trip without further ado let's take a look at the bag itself and let's take a look at what is in my bag for some travel photography Good idea. So that was like a second for you guys. That was about 10 minutes because I was working out the best way to set up the camera so you guys could see the bag. So there it is. That is the bag itself. One of the great things about this bag is all the um, loops and the attachments on the outside. I haven't got too much on that one right now. I'm going to only be putting two attachments on, one of which is the uh, the water bottle holder in case I'm walking about whilst I'm out there. I might be grateful for the slot for my water bottle. And the other one on the side is the foot pouch for the uh, the tripod and also the strap at the top for the tripod as well the tripod won't be on here for me to travel that's actually going to be in my main luggage bag but when I'm out there and I'm walking about doing some landscape shots I'm probably going to want to attach the tripod to the side of the bag hence why I've got both of those on there as you guys know this bag has the little side pockets Nothing in here right now, but this is going to be for like my regular bits. So like, you know, things like my passport, my phone, um, those kind of bits that I might need on the trip. Some of you guys with the eagle eyes might have noticed I've got my headphones just plugged through the top. These are my Skull Candy wireless headphones. These are great for the plane. I find they kind of block out the sound. So I'm going to be taking those with me. I'll be using those absolutely for the plane. Inside the top of the lid right here. This is going to be more just for like my personal stuff, like my general stuff. No photo stuff in the top part of this bag. In the top here, I'm going to be keeping other things that I might need on the trip. Uh, things like my smaller headphones, my, my power pack, stuff like that. And a few just regular bits of gear in the top here, but I'll show you from the other side of the bag. So inside the main section of the bag, first things first. And perhaps most importantly, we've got my hat. <laughs> Always important to take a good hat on holiday. I've got my hat right here, which I'll be taking with me. Going to keep the sun off my head when I'm sat by the pool and also when I'm out and about doing some of these photos. So into the main section of the bag. Now, one first thing to say, there is one key thing missing from this bag. This section down here and this section here, this is going to have my Canon 70D, which is the vlog camera this camera right here and in here is going to be my Canon 10 to 22 mil lens a it gives me a wider angle option and b it is my lens for my vlog so I will be having both of those two will go here and here so that's why I've got two empty sections in here I've got now this is actually a think tank pouch it comes from the belt I just use this because it's real handy for putting all the different bits together for the DJI Osmo Action. So that is the main Osmo Action camera. It's in the cage right now. And actually I've also got it attached to one of these kind of bulldog clip things. I find that really useful because I'm gonna use that attached onto the strap of the bag when I'm walking around and filming a little bit of footage for you guys. So that's in there. I've also got 
the charge cable in the front pocket and I've actually put the battery into the bottom. You'll see with all of my gear here, I don't have batteries in anything. I take all of the batteries out when I know I'm going on an aeroplane, just for an extra piece of safety really. That sits in there and also I've got my little mini torch in the bottom. That's gonna be in there. Over into the next pouch, I've got a charger for my drone. I'm gonna come onto my drone in one second. And you guys have hopefully seen this before. This is one of my attachments for the Osmo Action. If you haven't, go and watch my Osmo Action accessories video. Moving across into the main section, I've got another attachment for the Osmo Action. Again, go check out that video if you haven't already seen it. I've got my camera strap, my cleaning kit, my blower, stuff like that. And like I said to you guys, this section in the top here will be used for my other kind of general bits, which I'll be able to access through that top pouch. Over in here is everything to do with my drone. So this is my DJI Mavic Air. That's in there. Fits handy into the little box. That's the pouch it comes with. I've got the controller. And then I've also got two spare batteries in here. I keep it in one of those battery pouches, again, just for safety. This is called a, a LiPo safe bag. If you're interested in this, check it out. I'll put it in the link below. I'll put the link in the description below. That's what I'm trying to say. And in the same theme down here, I have all my regular camera batteries are in one of these pouches as well. Underneath there, we've got my main camera body and lens that I'll be using for a lot of my photography on this trip. I've got one of my Canon 7D Mark IIs, my Canon 24-70 f2.8 Mark II. That's in there. Nice shallow camera body, so I'll be able to access it through this side pouch, which is going to be fantastic. You guys know my frustrations around this with the 1DX. Before we close up the bag, I should just talk about what I've got in these top sections right here. Let me just check you guys can see that on the camera. You kind of can. Down in here, I've got a couple of filters, and I've got my spare memory cards as well. In terms of the filters, I have a polarizer and a couple of ND filters. Nothing in this pouch here. And in this one is just the um, the lens cap and the rear cap for my camera. I'm not taking my laptop with me. A, it saves on a lot of weight. B, I won't really need it. And C, I can use this section here for like magazines or whatever else I might need on my trip. All going into the Canon, not the Canon, the Low Pro, Pro Tactic 450 AW. Right, let's switch the camera back to me. So that's about it, guys. That's what I've got in the bag. That's what's coming with me on the trip. I think that should be cool to take that on hand luggage. The bag's the right size. Um, and it's not really too heavy because I've not got a ton of gear. I don't have any big lenses or laptop or any of those things that normally take up the um, the extra weight. So hope it's going to be good. I'm going to be filming a couple of videos whilst I'm out there. Um, hopefully you guys will find this interesting. I guess a bit more landscape photography focused. Um, don't worry, not trying to turn this into a landscape photography channel. Plenty of other great photographers out there who already do landscape photographers, um, who already do YouTube channels. Not trying to do that. We're trying to be a little bit different over here and mostly focus on the sports stuff, right? But going to be a couple of travel landscape videos coming out of my trip, which I hope you guys will enjoy. In the meantime, you guys have a great week and I will see you on the next video.